Morning, y'all. Rick Fearless, Fearless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punchwally Garage, and Fearless Insurance Services. Today is October 18th, 2023, year of our Lord. In today's episode of In My Life, the 365 Project. Hold on. Have you checked out my YouTube channel? If you haven't, you may miss out on a lot of things that I'm doing. Y-O-U-T-U-B-E dot com. Strokers Dallas. There we are. Play around with it. You'll figure it out. It's pretty easy. In my life, the 365 Project. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going to go back to 2005. In 2005, I was sitting in my desk right about here. Late one afternoon, my mom was at the bar, and she buzzed in my office, and she said, Ricky! Pick up the phone. Yes, ma'am. There's some crackpot on the phone and he wants to talk to you. How do you know he's a crackpot? Because he said his name was Ross Perot. Okay, that's probably a crackpot. What did he sound like? Well, he sounded kind of like Ross Perot. You better get it. Yes, ma'am. I pick up the phone. Ross Perot on the other end. He said, uh, do you have motorcycles there for purchase or rental? And I said, yes, sir. He said, okay, I'm going to come over and see you in the morning. Yes, sir. He did. He wanted to borrow a motorcycle for Norman Brinker. There's another famous man in his own right. To uh, Norman Brinker was in a wheelchair from a polo accident. And uh, he picked out a chopper. We took it over to Mr. Brinker's house. Just so Mr. Brinker could look at it. Because he was a former motorcycle rider. And so, uh, Mrs. Brinker would uh, get a kick out of it. So we did. So after that, you know, we went over there. We met Mr. Perot. We met Mr. Brinker. We did some things with Mr. Perot and Mr. Brinker. But Ross would call me. They'd say, Rick, line two. Pick up the phone. This is Rick. A lady would say, hold the line for Mr. Perot, please. Mr. Perot would pick up the phone and say, Rick Ross, you're going to be there for a few minutes? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Click. And he'd come over, and sometimes he'd just show up, and he'd drink a Dr. Pepper and eat a hamburger and mingle with the crowd. Just And he told me he wasn't big on motorcycles, but he was big on people watching. And most of the time... People would not even know it was him. It's a pretty cool, man. We could use a guy like him right about now, I think. Check the chuck. Did I even write that down? How did I didn't write down check the chuck? Hmm. I didn't write it down, but I'm going to do it anyway. Check that, Chuck. You big dumb. Woo-wee. Look at that, boys. What you got there, Rick? Okay, so you've got the rainbow medallion. And these are colored that fade. And it's got like a mesh over the top of it. Look how close these vent holes are. White toe, white sole, white shoestrings, rainbow tips, one eye down, double knotted for safety. 
How about that? Hey, let's check out the bottom of them. <laughs> Handsome shoes, boy. Hold on there. I done double clutched my double clutcher. Dad joke. People who do things without being told draw the most wages. Guy told me one time, he said, I'm a pretty good artist. And I said, what are you drawing? He said, wages. Slang word, highball. Remember what a highball is? Highball is a good stiff drink with ice in it, usually served in a tall, skinny glass. That's a highball. My mom used to say highball. Come on up with me to the Blackhawk. We'll get a couple of highballs. Yes, ma'am. Motivational minute. I got two motivational minutes written down here. I'm going to use one today and one tomorrow. Your passion is waiting for your courage to catch up. What does that mean? Your passion is waiting for your courage to catch up. Okay, that, that, that could be me. My passion was motorcycles. But I didn't have the courage to go after my own business. I didn't have the courage to go after my own passion. But my courage finally caught up. And 28 years later, I'm still in the motorcycle business. Your passion is waiting for your courage to catch up. What's your passion? Can you make it into a living? Or can you make it into uh, something that you enjoy on a regular basis? Why don't you try it? We already talked about YouTube. You've got to check it out. It must be done. Must be done. Stroker Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. We're getting in a bunch of new shirts. They're all on the website. Wednesday night, that's karaoke. I'd like for you to join us. Oh, actually, not tonight. We're not having karaoke tonight. We're having a, uh, a pre-party for the Born Free rally. So a bunch of the guys are coming through on their way to Born Free, so that'll be a hoot. So, get ready for that. That's going to be a big deal. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know that Leave It to Beaver was the very first TV show to ever show a toilet? Wally and the Beaver were in the bathroom, and Wally had a little baby alligator, and so he was putting him in the tank of the toilet. That was the very first time a toilet had ever been seen on TV. All right, Rick Fairless, Strokers Dallas, I got to go, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Man, what I wouldn't give for a stiff highball right now. Happy Wednesday. Love you. Bye.